There are people who are destined to embrace endless pain and suffering, and there are people who desire to dream. Everybody dreams, of course, but does anybody want to dream more than the people of North Korea? Their lives are spent inside a virtual prison without even knowing about the truth or human rights. My hometown is North Korea and near the Chinese border. I remember when I was seven years old, there was a big crowd of people gathered together near the railway bridge and I saw my first public excursion. Also, I remember seeing flashing neon signs across the border in China compared to the constant power shortages in North Korea. I began to doubt my country is the... I began to doubt that the government propaganda that our country is the best in the world. One of my final memories of North Korea is I saw a mother, her baby, lying on the ground by a train station. And the mother was so skinny, and the baby looked close to death. Sometimes I wonder if that baby is still alive now. After that, I made a great dramatic decision to go to China in search of freedom, but I, I quickly realized I never feel safe in China. I always had to hide my identity because of Chinese policy on repatriating North Korean defectors. And whenever I saw the Chinese police car, I was terrified that they would try to catch me. Eventually, I decided to come to South Korea I had long to put my feet on this soil, even in my dreams. But I didn't know the way to get here. After a long time in China, in 2008, I was finally arrived at Incheon International Airport in South Korea. And I was declared myself a North Korean seeking asylum. Settling down in South Korea turned out to be a lot more challenging than I had expected. When I was sick, I couldn't call out my mother, my friend, my relatives were so far away. Among the difficulties, I encountered money problems were the hardest. I often found it difficult to pay rent. Also, I also even went through an identity crisis. Am I South Korean or North Korean? Who am I? Sadly, there was no country I could call proudly my own. <laughs> After a year's confusion, I finally managed to find meaning in my new life. And then one day I heard that my family in North Korea had been targeted by the authorities and then were to be forcibly removed to a remote area. And I agonized over the issue for a while and I decided to go back for them. I met them at a Chinese border. I, I, managed, I helped them escape from North Korea. And we traveled to the border of Laos, and I met a broker who I paid money already and to take them to the South Korean embassy in Vientiane. And on my way to the airport to return to South Korea, I received a call that my family had been caught as they crossed the border. When I heard this, my whole world was broken. I entered Laos without any knowledge about the country. And I didn't speak English. And I had no clue where my family was. Again, I felt powerless and frustrated. Facing the reality, there was no one to hear me. 
I paid numerous fines and I spent 50 days of going back and forth between the immigration office and the police station. I was finally able to meet my family again. And then another nine months later, we were eventually reunited in Seoul. In Seoul, Korea, here in I'm continuing to learn English in order to boost my prospects. When North Korean defectors to try to get us up to stabilize their lives, but their lack of English is a handicap. Therefore, I started studying English a lot, and in, to, in 2011, I was admitted to the Hanguk University of Foreign Studies. I put all of my if, efforts into all of my activities. Then one day I, 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 I found that great opportunities coming to me. I hope today my brief story can help you guys to gain more insight into the difficult struggle facing many North Koreans. There are countless North Korean families just like mine. They have to support immensely to gain freedom and to live together in peace. These people need continued support and attention of the international community to help them achieve their dreams. I firmly believe that if we all work together, we can help North Korean people and make this world a better place. Thank you.